seven hacks for looking amazing in casual clothes. So are you tired of feeling uninspired when you're wearing your casual outfits? Maybe you feel and look amazing when you're wearing a suit and tie, but you just can't get it right when you're wearing something a little bit more casual. Well, fret no more. In today's video, I'm gonna give you seven, wait, seven, seven, third time's a charm, seven game-changing hacks to make sure that when you are dressing, ca dressing, to make sure when you are dressing casually, your outfits scream casual perfection. So whether you wanna look better at work in business casual environments, or you just wanna step up your game from more casual situations like going out to eat, maybe going to the bar, going to some after work functions, or hanging out with friends and family on the weekends, with this video, I've got you covered. Welcome to Essential Style, you're gonna love this video. So the number one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to focus on the fit of your clothes. Your shirts should fit you nice and slim, not too tight, but not too loose. You don't wanna be swimming in your shirts, but you also don't want your shirts to be super ramrod slim like it's, or skinny like it's painted on you. A couple things you can do. If you're wearing a collared shirt like I always am, when you button that collar, you should be able to fit one or two fingers in there, depending on if you wanna wear a tie. I would never wear a tie with a polo shirt, so I can go a bit tighter. But you don't want it to be too small, you don't want it to be, to be too short either. You're definitely gonna to wanna to pay attention to your shoulder seams. Take a look at this shoulder seam right here and the one on this side. It's sitting right here. If it was all the way up here, the shirt is too small. If, it's, if it was all the way down here, if I was like Ross from Friends, that shirt is going to be way too big and most likely the waist is going to be too billowy if a shirt is one size too big as well. For short sleeve shirts, you don't want it to be riding up over here. It's gonna make it look like you're actually trying too hard to show off the muscles, whether you have them or not, or whatever but you also don't want it to be all the way down here and touching your elbow. It's just not going to accentuate your upper arms as well as if it hits somewhere in the middle. And it's also gonna be a bit more uncomfortable if you're, usually when you're wearing short sleeve shirts, you're in the warm months anyway. So it's nice to not have anything touch your elbow or the inside of your elbow. Pants. You want your pants to fit you slim, not so skinny to the point where they actually look like they're painted on, but not big and baggy either. No boot cut, no loose cut. Definitely look for straight fit or slim fit pants. These, I can always recommend the Levi's 511. They are labeled as a slim fit, but they're a bit of a bigger slim fit. You can see down by my ankles and my calves, it actually does have a nice taper, but it's not too tight either. It's not like ramrod skinny, like a ramrod straight or, ram I don't know why I keep saying ramrod. It's not painted on me down there. For the Levi's 511, I find that sizing up one in the waist and wearing a belt actually makes it fit really nicely. I just get a bit of bunching in the waist, but the best that you're gonna get. Levi's 511, highly recommend them, check them out. Shoes, you're gonna to wanna to stop wearing sneakers all the time. Especially sneakers like the Adidas Ultra Boost. While there is a time and place to wear sneakers like these, if you're going for a long walk, if you're on vacation, and you you know definitely don't wear nice shoes if they're going to destroy your feet, I would not recommend doing that. And I've done it before. Honestly, it is not worth it. But something like this, there's a time and place for this. Exercising, of course, running, sure, going to the gym. Maybe if you're doing some errands on foot, like I am, I don't use my car unless I'm driving out of town. But don't wear these all the time. Definitely invest in something like this. This is more of a hybrid shoe, the Cole Haan Original Grand Wingtip Oxford. I have it in this color. I also have it in the brown and darker sole. It's pretty much the same color on top. These are going to be the number one thing that you can do to actually step your style up. And a shoe like this, not only is it going to be cheaper than the shoe that I just showed you, the Adidas Ultra Boost, it's going to be just as comfortable. I'm talking like 95% of the amount of comfort but it's going to be just so much more stylish. You're gonna be able to polish it. It's just overall 10 out of 10 would highly recommend this shoe over the Adidas Ultra Boost that I just showed you. Now for fall and winter months, it's actually a lot easier because we have a lot of awesome boots like these from Thursday Boot Company. These are their Whiskey Storm King Captains, absolutely my favorite boot that I wore this past winter. These are gonna be great just because you're gonna get a lot of that same comfort from the sneakers but it's going to be a lot more appropriate if you're wearing it with denim and you're trying to look nice. Now, investing in better looking shoes is one of the top things that you can do to take your look to the next level. So if you've got nothing else from this video, invest in some nicer shoes, do some research, do some shopping, figure out what shoe fits you and what shoe is actually gonna be comfortable. And I actually might do a whole separate video on how to find shoes that fit you and are comfortable. That way you're not gonna be destroying your heels, destroying your knees, and destroying your feet, basically, just to look nice. 
because no one wants to do that. The third tip, in case anyone's still counting, focus on solid colors and simple patterns rather than big, bold, bright patterns. Now, I'm a big fan of wearing blue, especially the navy blue. I've really been enjoying it lately. I have a couple of polos in navy blue. I've also got a couple in the light blue as well. Of course, if you don't like blue, you can always go with white. White's gonna be super dressy, super versatile. You can dress this up and dress this down. It's also going to keep you cooler in the summer since it's going to reflect a lot of that light, reflect a lot of that heat. But if you do wanna go with some patterns, you could always go with something like this, which is a micro gingham pattern or something Thing, a little bit more, something a little bit more colorful like this one, a little bit of a darker, more bolder pattern, or you can go all the way with a nice big bold gingham pattern. This is the most that I would go just because even wearing this one, it does get pretty memorable and people are going to realize, oh, you're wearing the exact same shirt every day. Whereas you can wear something like dark blue, light blue or white every single day and people aren't really going to bat an eye as much. They're just gonna think you got a couple of different shirts. You can, you can make it look like you have like five or six of these shirts, whereas you might only have two or three. So definitely stick to simple patterns and solids. It's just going to be a lot easier to make it look like you're effortlessly looking good in your casual outfits. And with that being said, tip number four is going to be stay away from your logoed shirts. Even if you do like wearing t-shirts, a plain solid white, dark blue, gray, black t-shirt is always going to look a lot better and a lot, it's just gonna look a lot cooler than if you're wearing something with a big gaudy logo on there. I'm not really someone that likes wearing t-shirts, but I do wear them from time to time, especially going to the gym, and especially as I continue to build my body in the gym. I've got a long way to go, honestly. I feel like the t-shirt, the solid t-shirts still look good. They can still build up your shoulders and slim down your waist, give you that masculine look. But if you're wearing a big logo over here, especially if it's a big, like if it's a very flashy designer t-shirt, it's just not going to look as good and as sleek and sophisticated if you wear a solid shirt. Mostly t-shirts come with big logos on them, but definitely just cool it with the logos. Like I was saying in tip number three, stick with gingham, stick with solid colors. And plain t-shirts are always going to be a much better pick when compared to those big gaudy logo t-shirts. Now number five is a bit more of an opinion on my end, but consider nixing your light wash jeans and only going with dark wash jeans only. Dark wash jeans just look better in every single way. They are better in every single way. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They're more slimming. They match anything you can wear with light wash jeans, you can wear with dark wash jeans, and it just looks like you're wearing newer jeans. No ripped jeans, no rips in them, no crazy wear marks either. The nice thing about dark wash jeans is as they age, they will incur some distressing, but it's going to be natural distressing. These are actually my newer pair of Levi's 511s that I got recently, but I have two old pairs and they do have, oh, one second, let me show you. These are one of my older pairs and you could see they do have some natural distressing. That's usually where I put my phone and these are probably about two or three years old. You could see a bit of wear in my knees, a bit of wear in the seat. And this actually turns into a nice color blue The, the once they get nice and distressed like that. So dark wash jeans, better in every single way. Next, your light wash jeans. You could disagree if you want. This is more personal preference. But for me, dark wash is always going to be 100% better than light wash jeans. And for tip number six, invest in and start wearing some good fitted khaki colored chinos. And we just talked about nixing light wash jeans. I would say if you wanna wear something brighter than your dark wash jeans, because it does get kind of boring to wear the same dark wash jeans all the time, definitely invest in some nice khaki chinos. These are from Banana Republic. These are a really nice pair. These are more of like that, they're medium, almost brighter khaki color. This is the Rapid Movement Chino. Really easy to dress up. This is a bit more of a darker khaki, this is almost light brown. This is about as dark as I would go. And this color really works for all season. It's also a lot more casual, so this might be a little bit easier to wear in more casual environments. But I, it's almost too dark for me, honestly. But hey, it still works. It's still in a, it's still a, still a nice alternative to your light wash jeans. And also, if you so choose, you can just go with something like the Levi's 511 five pocket denim style chinos. These do have quite a bit of stretch in them. These are also a lot more breathable than your actual denim, but this is also a nice alternative just because you still get the same casual coolness of wearing jeans, but it's in a nice, brighter, 
a little bit dressier, a little bit more cooler as far as temperature wise goes, he's going to work a lot better in the warmer months of the year, you still get all of that casual goodness. Now, if I had my pick, I would go with the more dressy pair just because I find I like the silhouette of them a bit better and it's always easier to take a dressier pair of pants or a dressier anything and dress it down by wearing a polo and more casual shoes than taking something a lot more casual like a five pocket denim style pair of chinos and trying to dress it up with a sport coat and dress shoes. So the choice is yours here. There's not much of a difference, but I would say these come out just a little bit higher on the versatility scale. And the final tip, tip number seven, is going to be invest in what you love to wear. Now, I know a lot of times in this video and other videos, I say, you shouldn't wear this, you shouldn't wear this, wear this, don't wear that, wear that, but don't get caught dead wearing this. At the end of the day, it's up to you. And if you wear something that you like, you're going to feel a lot more confident and feel a lot better than if you just wear something that a random person on the internet told you, you should wear this, but don't wear that. Take my style, for example. You may absolutely hate Collars & Co. polo shirts. You may say they're an abomination, they're too shiny, they're just not good. Why are you wearing dark blue? Why are you wearing a dark blue shirt with dark blue jeans? It looks absolutely horrible. You may absolutely hate the Seiko SKX dive watches. I absolutely love them. You may not like wearing glasses. I prefer, I wish I didn't have to wear glasses, but I actually like wearing glasses and I prefer them to contacts or from just not being able to see in high definition. You may hate shoes like this. You may think hybrid shoes are ugly. You may think they're an abomination. You may think you wouldn't get caught dead wearing these. And that is totally okay. It's all about preference. It's all about your opinion and what you like. You may hate wearing brown shoes. You may love wearing black shoes. You may love wearing all black. I don't wear all black, but a lot of people look absolutely awesome wearing all black. This is all personal opinion after all. And the nice thing about style and fashion is it is a spectrum and Anything can look good on anyone. I've seen a lot of outfits that I would never wear or thought would never look good, but then I see it and I say, wow, that person actually pulled it off. So as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to consider to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it useful and if you had fun today, which I hope you did. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.